So we're going to do some corded piping and what you'll see here is the cord, the piping, and I've followed for the piping the technique which I'll include in the link, but how to join it all together really easily so you can get a really long piece, and then the rest will become rather an assembly line. So I'll put this on the tripod. Okay, so the pattern that I had, which was a Vogue pattern, I didn't like one thing about it. It says make this um, one inch. But if you make the width of this one inch, then what happens is it's smaller than the seam allowance which makes it very difficult to know where you should actually sew your seam. You can do it by feel, by touch. But when you join two pieces together, you need to be sure that this part is actually going to stick out. So what I decided to do is alter the width of this, which uses a bit more fabric, but it's much easier to get a good result. So this is actually one and a half inches wide. When you fold it over, it may and sew at a seam allowance of 5 eighths inch as normal. That will actually give you 1 eighth of an inch on that side here, which will stick out past the seam on what you're sewing. So I'm quite content with that approach. So what I suggest at the beginning is to actually sew directly on the cord if you can or across it, just to secure it in place just so it doesn't skid when you begin sewing. And that little bit will go to waste, but that really doesn't matter because it will hold everything in place and you need that. To make it a bit easier for me, I've put the bowl there. So in fact, I'm going to put this over top so that when I pull the cord, it just comes off easily. And that's going to make it much easier for me to work on. Now one thing I found about this particular machine is I find it hard to read the seam guides here, so I tend to use a metallic one just to make life a lot easier when stitching. And that way I get a perfect result. So off we go. all of the uh, piping in my lap so it's easier to pull and then of course the cord is coming off the top of the machine so that makes it easy. over the hump there. That's my fault for not cutting it perfectly. going on here. So need to adjust that slightly.
Because this is on the bias, you definitely don't want um, the foot pressure to be too much or it will stretch the actual piping and it won't lie flat. So you don't you definitely don't want to do Difficult bit again. We've got a giant pump here, but that's okay. Perfect. few meters. Might need just a bit more. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, right, so that's enough. So there is the completed pile of the cord, the piped cording. Basically, there's a lot of it there. It's a good spaghetti. And all of that will sit in the seam of the pajamas that I'm in the process of making.